to most people, this is nothing but a flourishing pile of nondescript weeds. Listen up, because I'm going to tell you a foolproof method of controlling them. Since a weed is a plant that grows where it isn't wanted, all you have to do is want it, and it's no longer a problem. Stop thinking of them as weeds and accept them as welcome additions to your diet. That's much easier and cheaper than using herbicides. A case in point is lamb's quarters. A plant that thrives in disturbed soils, vacant lots, gardens, and fields. So plants are available late in the season. This nondescript weed has an impressive pedigree. It's related to the South American grain quinoa and to the more common vegetable spinach. It's rich in protein and vitamins A and C. When its seeds were found in a pharaoh's tomb and planted, they sprouted. So it's here to stay. It has many common names, pigweed, goosefoot, dirtweed, but the one I prefer is wild spinach since it's related to that plant and tastes just like it. Lamb's quarters is one of the best edibles for beginners because it's easy to identify, simple to prepare, has no poisonous lookalikes, and can be collected over a long time, from late May to October. The underside of the leaves often has a white coating that comes off on the fingers. It's harmless. Even picky eaters like lamb's quarters because its flavor is so mild. Use them raw in salads, cooked in any recipe that calls for spinach, or dry them for later use. They are water repellent and stay that way until cooked. When I gather leaves, I collect three to four times the amount I need because they cook down. Like spinach, they contain oxalic acid which can prevent the absorption of calcium by the body. Lamb's Quarters Mexican Casserole is delicious. Here are the ingredients you'll need. To make this casserole, take six cups of leaves and barely cover them with water and simmer for one to two minutes until they wilt. These shrink down to about 10 ounces. Make sure to drain them to get out the excess water. I've chopped the lamb's quarters fine and I'm going to add them to this bowl. This contains two cups organic cottage cheese, two eggs, one four ounce can of peeled and chopped green chili peppers, a half a cup shredded organic jack cheese, and one eighth of a teaspoon black pepper. Then I'm going to add two cups of cooked and mashed potatoes, but here I've added some yams for color. I've spooned this into an oiled two-quart baking dish. Sprinkle the top with shredded cheese if you wish. I'll place it in a preheated oven and bake at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. I wanted to film this hot out of the oven, but my husband and son got to it first. When autumn arrives, this opportunist of the plant world is still available to collect. Most plants begin to die back as days shorten and nights get nippy. By this time of year, some of them are full of insect trails and aren't too appealing but there are others that have newly sprouted or produced seeds that are worth collecting. Lamb's quarters leaves are best when under a foot high. As the season progresses, the plant becomes woodier, so gather the tender tips from the top or look for new shoots. Use the leaves the same way as spinach. They shrink down when cooked, so gather a large amount. Since they contain oxalic acid, which absorbs calcium from the body, eat raw leaves in moderation. If the leaves are cooked or frozen, the acid dissipates. Their mild taste makes them a good choice 
for people who are timid about trying new foods. In late summer, bunches of inconspicuous greenish-white flowers develop that are high in nutrients. These can be cooked or used raw. The seeds begin to ripen in September. They resemble poppy seeds and can be harvested even after a heavy frost. Separate the seeds from the chaff. They can be sprinkled onto a salad or ground into a flour. I gather lamb's quarters leaves as a base for my open air salad bar. I'll search this compost pile for other ingredients like peppergrass, wild onion, dill, chickweed, dandelion, Johnny Jump Up, and anything else I might find. Then I'll add plants that I find around my house, like nasturtium, galansoga, parsley, wood sorrel, and mint. So here it is. A treat, ready to eat. See you around, man. We drew, man. Yeah. Hey, look there. You got some growing pains out there, man. <laughs>